सो इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द विंड लोड एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन हाउ इट विल वर्क एंड हाउ कोड हैज़ डिफाइन द विंड क्लॉज एंड इट्स पैरामीटर सो एज आई ब्रीफ अर्लियर इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन द विंड एप्लीकेशन ऑन द बिल्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स और डिफरेंट कैटेगरी ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स इट्स बिहेवियर इज लिटल बिट डिफरेंट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टोपोग्राफिकल कंडीशन ओवर द बिल्डिंग राइट नाउ द मेन लॉजिक इन आवर प्री इंजीनियरिंग बिल्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर इज इट विल बी मोस्टली ग्राउंड फ्लोर स्ट्रक्चर और इट कैन बी इफ इट हैज़ अ मेज एंड फ्लोर दैन इट कैन बी ग्राउंड प्लस वन फ्लोर ओनली राइट सो इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस वॉट इज द विन बिहेवियर दैट इज that will depend its on its topographical region so to make you aware about the wind behavior uh, here i have taken a picture okay that how it will impact on the building structures now see in case of the building uh, this will be the kind of behavior for the wind if you have the application of wind for a single entity it will impact the wind on the structural surface then it will go sideways and upwards depending upon the object which it is facing right if you have the multiple structures then the your wind intensity will be scattered depending upon the object or the building it is facing right so based on this condition your impact of the wind or the basic wind speed you are working out for a particular structure it will depends on the speed of the in intensity speed uh, the topographical region over there and the surrounding areas objects or the buildings which are surrounded by your particular structure on which you are working out your wind pressure right so in case uh, your structure is located with a surrounding structures then your wind will be scattered something like this right in the first picture you can see all the structures are with a similar height right so your wind impact will be on the upper regions only if your structure has height different than the surrounding areas then your wind impact will be something like this right and for a least amount of the structural component your wind will be in terms of scattered more and that's why our indian code also has specified the category of your wind means your wind intensity or the wind load or for your particular structure will increase or decrease based on the object or what we can say the building and that's why for the calculation of the wind it has a specified height to width and length to width ratios and based on that you have certain coefficients that we need to work out for the wind load analysis right so as i told you the wind behavior in the pre engineering building structures this uh, will be the scenario right for all four sides you need to work out your wind load now remember one thing over here that if your wind is acting from here right so it will go directly here and it then it will go sideways so basically in the behavior form what is happening when your wind is in this direction then it will offer a positive pressure on the object or the surface on which it will impart it okay on the opposite side you will observe the opposite means these are the outward sides so in these two sides you will observe the suction so that is the general behavior the behavior which i was talking right now over here okay so in the structural behavior as well the coefficients are given in such a manner right code has specified that your wind towards the building will be positive and wind away from the building will be negative that is a formulation written in your code so that is the general behavior so let's say my wind is acting from here so it will considered as a positive pressure towards the building now for the opposite two directions these are the side wall directions so in this phase it will behave means it will impact as a suction okay so it will experience the suction on the side walls and in the opposite direction also it will experience the suction on the real wall so that is the basic behavior that you need to understand now depending upon type of the loading sorry depending upon the direction of your loading you have to work out your wind in all four directions right so instead basically we have 
x direction right now i am talking about in the plan direction right x is horizontal this let me just draw it in 3d first so this is my x this is my z and y is vertical instead so basically for the stat parameter what we gonna do we will walk out the wind force in x direction and z direction y is the vertical that is based on your height alright so we have to work work out the wind load for zero degree let's say my wind is acting from here right then you have to work out for the wind in this direction that is called as 90 degree right so your wind will be from this direction then from this direction so for all four sides you need to work out your wind wind pressure right now how the code is defining your wind segment that we gonna understand now the behavior which I have explained you here the same behavior is explained here in terms of the codal provision so what code says that the similar language the wind which is acting from the wind direction that will be your positive pressure okay and that will be your windward direction the surface on which the wind is acting this is your windward direction and the opposite direction is called leeward side so this is my windward side this is my leeward side all right wind acting towards the surface will considered as a positive pressure and wind acting away from the surface this will be called as away so it will called as a negative pressure okay so remember windward side will be a positive pressure okay and that will be from outward to inward okay and in case of the lever pressure will be from inward to outward outward means see try to understand this pressure from outward to inward that means it is coming from outside and going inside so that is my windward side in case of the leeward side the negative pressure will be from inward this is my inward and going outward right and that's how you have to work out your wind so that is for your side segments now in case of your roof segment the wind will generally behave in terms of your uh, away segment that is the upper segment okay because we have the roof sheet connections so in most of the cases your roof case will be in terms of the negative pressure only from inside to outside okay so basically we have to work out wind for the side walls these are my side walls and for the roof okay so we have four cases four cases in which manner let me just show you again so my wind will be for the wall then for the roof this is for my windward direction here windward wall then windward roof again same windward now this the opposite side is called as leeward so leeward roof and leeward wall and that's how the wind is categorized in your code as well so the coefficients are given based on this particular condition in terms of your windward force and leeward force okay so see if you observe in your codes codal provisions the roof angle or the plan surface in your code over here see we have the tables table in terms of the geometrical configuration that is defining your height to width ratio and length to width ratio right and they have distinguished the direction in terms of your a b c d okay a b c and d depending upon your height to width ratio whether it is rectangle square too long too short and based on this category code is categorizing your structure in terms of height by width ratio so it has basically four categories see h by w that is height by width ratio less than 0.5 again then we have the category in terms of 0.5 to 1.5 the height to width ratio in between 0.5 1 by 2 is 0.5 and 1.5 then again we have 1.5 to 6 okay you we have studied this particular categories in our uh, bachelors or the degree engineering level as well and then for the two long categories the height by width ratio which is greater than 6 and again it will categorize in terms of your length by width ratio and based on this 
दे हैव प्रोवाइडेड दी प्रेशर को एफिशेंस ओके नाउ हाउ दिस कोड इज कैलकुलेटिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर विंड लेट्स गो थ्रू द क्विक समरी ओवर हेयर 